the water was up to my neck. The next second, not minutes, in seconds, I was swallowing the gunk, all right? So I started swimming. I'm like, this is a nightmare. What, what is this? I'm dreaming this. This is a damn nightmare. No way. And that's where it was because I remember the water being up to my chest in my living room because I was swimming. We told you everything on the news, what you heard was five feet. We had 12 feet down my street without the waves. Cars floated by. Houses floated away. Houses actually pancaked. So I grab and I put my leg on that tree. I grab the tree with my leg and I hold and then I swing my hand on top and I actually got on between, you know, the, the V of the tree and the other boot fell. Now I'm all alone on the tree. I actually left the place on or about six o'clock. Uh -huh. uh, the storm hit, we were going down the street. We saw a 15 foot wave coming to us. We had need to make a U-turn and drive against traffic. I worked 34 years and it's gone. They kept saying, yeah, you need to evacuate, but nobody said that, yo, all right, you're going to get some water. Your neighbor's going to be still standing when you come back. No, your neighborhood's gone when you come back. It's completely gone. I mean, there's four neighbors on my block about 70 houses. There's only four neighbors left. It's crazy. So it's like you live in a ghost town now. Nobody came to help us. You know, originally called the police. Yeah, we're coming. Never came. National Guard never came. You know, then volunteers started showing up and helping everybody. The community really is not getting any money from anywhere. They're getting bounced around, you know, uh, with the whether it be the insurance, whether it be FEMA or whether, whatever it is, you know, each time they, they turn around, it's a different story, it, a longer wait, you know, and, and at this point, they just really want to start getting on with their lives, like start rebuilding or if they need to move, to move on. When I came down to this and visually saw the devastation in the neighborhood I grew up in, I couldn't leave. We came, we came down the third day and I've been here ever since. If you came down here and you saw houses on the street or you saw the way the community looks, you wouldn't want to leave. You'd want to be here helping too. And that's why everybody's here. My name's Alan. I came out here from uh, Ontario, California, just outside of Los Angeles County. Came out here to help out. It's got two sides to it. You know, it's really devastatingly heartbreaking to see, but at the same time, it's, um, it, it kind of lifts you up to see what's going on here.